I like to set up my delay and my reverb on its own send channel. So I usually don't have it in my chain here and then it lower the mix. I usually have my send set up here and your mix set to 100% wet. So I'm using the H delay from uh, Waves. So let's see. I'm going to create a new one now. Let's go. You know, I'm going to bypass these for now. I'm going to just show you how to set them up. Uh, let's hide these and make them inactive. I'm going to make them right now. So what you do is command shift N new track, uh, command right arrow for a stereo command down arrow for aux input. And uh, I'm going to do number two for two of these. And we're going to set these in ascending order. So I got option shift and command. I got the two tracks highlighted and we're going to input here. We're going to go to bus one on the first one. So it's going to make the second one bus three and four automatically. Perfect. And now we have my send set up here. Let's bus one and two is a send right now. It's, nothing's being sent out. I'm going to command S to make these solo safe. So Signal is going to be passing through them no matter what. Delay to and my usual color coding. All right. So, got my name cuz I was bagging bitches in the hood at the same I'll just use a basic D verb for now. Got my name cuz I was bagging bitches and it's in the hood. Set 100% mix, which is what we want, 100% wet. If niggas want to smoke, they can holla at a chief, had beef. And niggas tried to wet up my car. But I was holding two of these haters going too far. They snitched on my brother, niggas acting like bros, but that's only good to get them fuck. My niggas is hard. Got my Now you have a bunch of controls for this, as opposed to having the plugin set up in the chain here. I can control how much is going in with, with the send knob here. I can then adjust if I wanted with this input knob leaving my mix 100% wet. And then you also have your output volume control of that overall channel. So you have a lot more control on the level of this reverb signal. I'm gonna set the same thing up for the delay, which we have on three and four. Use the extra long delay here. And the difference between these delays are, uh, some, I forget it, with timing. I always just use extra long delay because I, in the past I would use long delay or medium delay, whatever here, and it wouldn't let me do, like see, it won't let me do the whole note here. It only goes up to a certain amount of time, as you see here. So it only goes up to 678 milliseconds. So I usually always just go to extra long delay to, depending on what the tempo is, so I know I have a lot more, look, I got all these, a lot more space to work with. So tempo's already in. If I wanted, I could set my, I could set them the same at quarter notes. So I'm going to get our send set up. Plus three and four. Got my name cuz I was bagging bitches in the hood. At the same at the time, same I was bagging dimes bagging in the street. Dimes if niggas want to smoke, they can holla at a chief, had beef. And niggas tried to change up my car. But I was side. holding two these haters going too far. They snitched on my brother, niggas acting like bros, but that's only good to get them fuck. My niggas is hard. Got my name cuz I was bagging bitches in the hood. At the same time, I was bagging dimes in the street. If niggas want to smoke, they can holla at a chief, had beef. The mix is 100% wet here. And that's how you leave it on your, your auxiliary send tracks. So this is what I like to usually set up. It gives me a lot more control over it. So buses and sends is a very simple concept. A bus is just the pathway that we're calling where we're sending the signal. So the signal is going out the main output no matter what. The sends is just giving me an additional place for the sound to go. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment below and check out the rest of the videos we have. Thanks for watching.